Hello all. Now, this, here's a good tester. Can you hear me above the noise of a car wash? Who knows? Uh, but if you can, a ponder today, a pondering on um, growing your business and specifically tapping into an audience that might otherwise be assumed to be somebody else's audience. In other words, you tapping into the same audience that everybody seems to be tapping into. And and actually, the funny thing is, what I've learned um, is that that audience that you want to tap into is yours and yours alone. It is nobody else's. There's enough folk out there uh, for everyone. And uh, this is something that my wife found with her business, um, a hypnotherapy business. And she discovered that uh, in the area in which she was setting up business, there were many other hypnotherapists like her. And initially her thought was, crikey, how on earth, how on earth am I going to compete with all those others? When in fact, her style, her approach will only resonate with those that are genuinely interested in her, uh, what she has to say, uh, her method of, of providing that service. And so ever since her belief in there being this uh, growing audience out there for her, uh, her business has thrived. And that's the same for anyone doing any kind of business, be it online or not. Yes, the subject matter of your business may be the same as many others, but actually your audience is still going to be different because it's going to be you that people are buying into. And of course, the more you you are, especially online, the more authentic you are, the more uh, of you that you're able to show, then the more likely people will resonate with you, your message, your product, etc., etc. <laughs> uh, again, I hope you were able to hear me. And uh, Mr. Florence signing off. Thank you for watching TTF and goodbye for now.